On this video, we're going to add an animation to our camera. So we're going to learn about creating animations and keyframes, uh, stuff like that. So to start with, we'll switch over to the Animation Design uh, tab. And under this tab, we have all the tools we need uh, for creating an animation. Now to start with, we're going to come over here and click right here to create a new animation. And we'll name it Camera. And we now have an animation here to work with. Now we can come along here and we can add different animated properties. And in this case, we're going to be working on the camera. So I'm going to right click on the camera and add an animated property. And in this case, we're going to be doing position. And let's go ahead and just add one more keyframe to this. So we're going to insert a keyframe. Now if we play this animation, you can see the time, uh, and it's also laid out up here. And we're going to spread this time out, so we'll get you know up to around about a six second animation. Now you can right click on a keyframe and move marker to selected keyframe, and that'll line you right up on that keyframe. Then we can come up here in our scene, and we can position our camera to a new position. So we'll move it over to here, and we'll move marker to select a keyframe, and we'll end our camera way over here. So right now if we play the animation, you can see that our camera moves between those keyframes, just as you would expect. And we're on the editor view. If you switch to the camera view, we can watch the animation and see what we have. Now you can see that the camera, the car is moving right out of the frame. So we need to add a rotate uh, animated property. So with this selected, we're going to right click on the camera, add animated property, and instead of position, we're going to add rotation, just like that. You can already see that there's two free keyframes to start with. We're going to add a third insert keyframe. Now we'll move the uh, marker to select a keyframe, and we're going to switch back to the editor view. And we'll get a good angle here so we can see what this camera is looking at. And we're just going to rotate the camera, in this case, over at the car. And if you want to know how that's looking, you know, you can just switch back to camera view. That looks good. All right, so we'll go back to editor view and we'll move to this last uh, keyframe here. And we'll rotate it back. And let's take a peek at it in the camera view. I think we should rotate it a little more. Let's take a look. That's fine. All right, so let's play the animation. Now you can see that we have a very nice animation and we're flying by the car, we're keeping the car in frame. So that's the basics of creating an animation in Scene Composer. You can build off these basic techniques. Uh, and it will also, Scene Composer does a great job of importing FBX animations from packages like 3D Studio Max. So a lot of times I just create the animations in 3D Studio Max, but you can also uh, create very nice uh, animations right here within Scene Composer.